Hello, and in this video for how to play Firefight 2nd Edition, we're going to be talking about buildings and how they affect the game. So I've got my VM in here. Yep. I'm very conveniently placed next to this building here. How did that happen? Now, can I, can I just use them as cover? Can I move into them? How do the buildings work and, and kind of what do they do, I guess? Yep. So buildings, buildings are very good for um, defense and holding. Yep. Um, and they will, um, any units in them uh, uh, have a defensive bonus and, yep. and a nerve bonus as well, which, we'll, which we can talk about in another video. Um, so some scenarios, uh, most scenarios will allow you to enter buildings with, with the standard rules. Yep. Um, some won't, which means that they are just blocking, blocking cover, but yep. then, they, in, then they tend to have other um, scenario bonuses okay. where they might score for searching them or things like that. Yep. So that will depend on the mission. But generally, buildings have um, a capacity, yep. which tells you how many models can fit inside them. And you would typically do that in zones. So you'd have like the, 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 the underneath here, which would be the, the ground level zone, and then there's a roof zone in okay. this particular example. But you could have multiple levels, and then, it, then you'd probably zone each one, um, and each zone would have a, a capacity. So, you know, my unit might be on down here, and your unit might be up here, for example. So, so a building like this, let's say this one, that would be... Typically, it would be two zones. You'd have yeah. the, the ground floor and uh, the roof zone. Okay. So I want to move these uh, vehemen into this building. How do I do that? You can do that as part of uh, an advance or a sprint action. Right. All you have to do is get your leader in contact with the building. And then as obviously as, not, as long as it's not occupied, you can move in as long as your capacity is, is, isn't bigger than the, the capacity of the, of the building itself. Okay. So in this case, I've got my leader here. I'm definitely within six. Yeah. So I'd you, move my leader you up. have to now, unless you've got something like anti grav, so you can get straight onto the roof zone. Yeah. You have to enter at the ground level. Okay. So your guys would be going in and occupying under under here. And I guess you know you sort. Admittedly, we haven't got any doors in this one. You assume they just basically blast their way in or climb they through the window. They will find. Yeah, they will find a way of getting yeah. into that building. Yes. So I've moved my leader up. I can definitely make it. Now, what do I do to indicate that they're inside the building? Obviously, if you've got a removable roof or anything like that, you can then you can place the models in. If you don't, then you can just leave leave the the, the, the leader model next to it so that you know that they're there, and you can move your other models to okay. to one side. So put these to one side. Yeah. There we go. Obviously, if you're on the the roof, then you'd actually put your your you put all your models in and declare that's where they were. So your unit is now occupying that building. While they're in there, they have the defensible keyword. Okay. That makes their armor one better than it is. So your armor, I think, is typically five. five. Yep. So it would go to sixes. Okay. So it makes them, makes them much, 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 much tougher. Um, also, it helps in um, if I'm uh, assaulting you yep. as well. So you will still have that defensible uh, bonus and you uh, any charge of mine will always be hindered. Okay. So right. I won't get the plus one to, to attack you. So say I've moved into the building now, that was a short action. Can I then sh shoot from the building? Yep, and you can, once you're, you, once you're in it, you're, you're using the whole of that building surface, all that, or if it's a bigger building in zones, the whole of that zone's um, uh, walls and everything. So you will find fire points from, from anywhere. So you can, uh, so you're not using your leader model to, to draw from, you can move from any point right. uh, on, the, on the outside of the building from that zone uh, for your line of sight and for ranges. Okay, so I could measure from here to say like, these peacekeepers are your leader over here, or I could be measuring from that corner down to those ones there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, okay, so let's say we imagine I've shot, I'm still in there. What would happen if you want to then get me out of that building? How do you get me out? Well, two ways. Obviously, I could try and shoot you out. Yeah. But you'd um, you'd be uh, you'd have that defensible bonus and yep. you'd be in cover. Right. So it's quite hard. Uh, or I could try and charge that building and try and defeat you and then occupy that building myself as the winner. Right. Um, but as I said, it's a hindered charge and you're defensible. So it's, it's, it's quite tough. So once a unit's in there, it's much harder to shift them than it would be if they're out in the, out in the open. Okay. So what would happen if I was, I'd moved onto the roof into a different zone. Can you then enter into the bottom and fight your way up or do I occupy the entire building? No. So you're occupying one zone at a time. Yeah. And, and the way to move is you, you can't sprint or charge within a building from, yeah. zone, from zone to zone. So to, for you to get, because you don't have anti-grav or anything, uh, for you to get onto that roof zone, you'd have to move in in one turn and then the next turn advance up onto the onto the roof zone. Okay. But that would mean that the bottom was free and I could I could move in and then I could advance to attack you or you could come downstairs and, and advance down okay. to attack me. But once we're both in the building, we're both defensible. Right. Yeah. So you can have a scrap so you've got to imagine the sort of scraps inside the building of what's going on. Yes. And potentially I guess you could with your jump packs, you could jump on top of the building and then move down to attack and then advance me. Advance down. Yes, okay. I could do that. 
So buildings there sound like obviously they can really turn the tide of battle if you manage to kind of get inside them. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing to remember as well is a building like this, obviously, because you're measuring from anywhere around, if you put a command model in there, obviously you're measuring from the edges, so it can make that bubble bigger. So you make a command post with a bigger, wider command model. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so in this video, you've seen how you can enter buildings and use them to turn the tide of battles when things are getting tough.